look at what we have going on for you guys the song i got on shuffle was happy now um zed zed are you happy now that's like the lyric i don't know aquarius are you happy now um this could be kind of you know you wondering about somebody or somebody wondering about you like are you happy now so um you know i've been on a roll here with not having to like read about past lovers but Somebody from the past might be uh, checking in on you. Obviously, we're in Mercury retrograde, so nothing out of the norm there. We also have uh, a full moon coming up at the end of the week. It's going to be spectacular. Uh, secrets could be coming to light. Somebody could be, you know, coming out of the woodwork to be like, find out if you're happy now. Uh, let's see. Three Oracle cards, please. Raise your vibration. Uh-huh. Correct your mistakes. That's so interesting. And engage in higher reasons. So, the past could play out again. I'm hearing like, I'm hearing that in like a spooky Halloween voice. It's like, this Halloween might be, look, speak up. This Halloween might be extra spectacular. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that, but it's like, Anything can happen on that night. The, the, the energy is potent. The more you raise your vibration, honestly, the more you're going to be tapping into kind of your own personal power. And the more you're going to see things like rapidly manifest. So by raising your vibration, you could be calling in somebody to kind of... Uh, some people that come out of the woodwork. Just be aware. Um, some ghosts to come, come back from the past. Night of the living exes, you know what I mean? Uh, wondering, like, you know, how you doing these days? Bottom of the deck, we've got the Four of Cups. It's almost like you're really bored with, like, anything that's going on right now. Um, this could be you or this could be somebody feeling like they missed an opportunity with you and they're kind of bored of all their options and they're kind of wondering, like, are you bored too? Um, but... If you have been in this like kind of boredom energy, know that you are kind of unconsciously manifesting some, some drama, some drama. Overall energy between you and another person, we've got the King of Cups. Uh-huh, water sign energy here. Somebody who maybe in the past didn't really reveal their true emotions. You guys are looking for some some theatrics. I'm being extra theatrical today. Four of Swords. Um, you could be thinking a lot about this person or this person is thinking a lot about you. You guys are, it's the mutual energy. It's the overall energy. So there's a lot of thinking going on, a lot of meditating on it. You might be just reconnecting with like, you know, past, kind of this correct your mistakes, like with your past self. Like what have you done in relationships in the past? What's got to go? What's got to change? That's kind of the vibe of this full moon. It's going to be for us to release anything that's not serving our highest benefit when it comes to relationships, anything that's inauthentic to us. So you could be thinking back. You could be meditating on a lot of ways that you haven't fully shown your emotions. You haven't fully um, revealed all your cards. So let's see. Seven of Swords, yeah, you've been hiding them, emotions. Uh, two of Wands, the Seven of Swords, that's talking about kind of being guarded, kind of getting out. Um, three of Cups, yeah. Um, I feel like this is, I feel like you might be the one, because that Speak Up was at the bottom of this deck here. I saw it. Um, oh, God, this all wants to... The or, Spirits want to talk to you. Shine your light. Yeah, so I feel like in the past... Correct your mistakes. In the past, you haven't always been forthright with your feelings, with your emotions. Um, you might have been really guarded, especially in a certain situation. So you might be reconnecting and rethinking about that person um, and kind of wondering, like, wonder what they're up to these days. Like, ah, I should have told that person how I feel. Remember, this can be vice versa. But there is kind of this mirroring energy here. So the two of wands here, this is like one foot is in the future and one foot is in the past. So it's almost like you're 
having this little split split situation in which you're like half in the past half in the future um seven of swords here why is this seven of swords here hermit card and the magician so it's like you're trying to find the wisdom on how to manifest better for the future you're trying to kind of clear up though gain wisdom from your past in order to better manifest for the future is this is the vibe for you right now um but it, it i really do see this strong emphasis on like one foot in the past and one foot in the future um but i feel like you're moving towards the future okay we've got the three of cups here the emperor yeah this is about kind of again the emperor it's like stone cold he does not show his cards he is like stoic and mainly he represents that masculine ego but the three of cups is like the feelings emotions letting those feelings flow um it could talk about being like social being out with friends but i do feel like this is you kind of um, or somebody hiding their feelings from you. You both were kind of hiding your feelings from one another and you could both be really kind of thinking about the past right now and trying to figure out how you can get this situation to manifest in the future. Cryptic. Aries energy here. Um, Queen of Wands. Okay. 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 Three of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. If you did revisit this connection, I do feel like you are both in a much stable and more stable energy. In the past, I don't think you guys were like it could have been like a um, wrong place, wrong time situation. Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. OK, so this could have been a situation that went from like warm and passionate to like cold, cold and not, not a lot of passion. Um, let's see, the Six of Pentacles here. This is kind of like this unexpected offer, this abundance, this windfall of love, of love and kind of somebody's going to come in and it feels like, feels like somebody's dumping their emotions on you. Somebody could be dumping their emotions on you or kind of like coming in to give you some kind of unexpected offer and offer this new beginning in love. So like I said, you both are mirroring one another in the fact that you're very much so thinking about the past, the past that you share with this person. Um, and like I said, you've both kind of created like a more stable foundation in order to take this somewhere now. Three of swords nine of wands and the death card oof oof there's been some kind of ending some kind of transformation here um three of swords that's that heartbreak energy three of swords why is this three of swords here this could have been a situation in which you you did have your heart broken it could have been like third party situation or something here where um you had a decision to make and when i say third party it doesn't necessarily mean another person it could be career um and it was like queen of cups it's like you went against your heart you went against your heart here in this situation and you know it you know you went against your heart and that's why it, you're still tethered to this is because you know that you it was like your head over your heart and you chose the head you did not choose with your heart and you know that so it kind of keeps you tethered like you never really followed your heart on that one and you're kind of wondering where it could have led if you would have followed your heart so this death card i think this caused like a very strong transformation within this person um but they have leveled up they have leveled up here Scorpio energy with the death card. This is like some kind of ending, some kind of transformation. They've been overcoming this and it's made them stronger. Like whatever challenges they've seen, this could also be you too. Like this could all just be embodying you. Um, Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person kind of leveled up. So whatever happened in this situation, like they learned a lot from it too. They learned a lot from this situation too. And this is kind of you 
if you're presented with another opportunity like this, Spirit is saying, like, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Um, that's, that's kind of loud and clear, the message here. So I'm going to pull two heart-to-heart -heart messages, and then I'm going to move into the extended, where we're going to take a look at who this person is that's coming towards you, or who the, what the situation is, why this is coming up. We'll look into the archetype cards, um, more of the tarot, more of the heart-to-heart -heart messages, advice, as well as the sexual tarot. Let's pull two messages right now, though. We will be together soon. There's telepathy between our hearts. So again, like I said, I think you're both very much connected to each other in the past. You're both revisiting the past. Uh, a little time travel energy going on here. And I feel like um, you're both very strongly connected to the past, to each other in the past. But you guys need to move this and manifest it into the future. So you almost need to sever ties with that past person, that past version of whoever this person was, um, because they will be waiting for you in the future. Um, so I do see this as kind of a reconnection. This is sort of, you know, um, it was meant to happen this way. It was meant to be learned from this so that you could connect with your emotions so that you could, you know, not make the same mistake twice. Follow your heart. I think that's the message. Um, you are the most beautiful thing I keep in my heart. So I feel like this is still like you guys are still tethered to one another from that heart center place. So Aquarius, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope this resonated and I'm...